Hey guys, what's up? This is Trish. Welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. Today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how I achieved this wash and go. Stay tuned. Hi guys, today I want to talk to you guys and tell you guys um, how I achieved this wash and go. But first off, I want to say uh, thank you for tuning in and coming to my channel. I look forward to um, talking to you guys, getting to know you guys, you guys talking to me, asking me questions in regards to our hair journeys. I am, uh, if I have to give myself a hair type, I am a type 4 natural. I have thin strands uh, with a medium density. That's what I'm thinking I am. That's how I am um, assessing my hair. And also I am low porosity. So with that, let's get started. And let me tell you what products I use for this particular wash and go. Um, typically with my hair and I have um, a decent amount of hair and it does tend to get tangled and I um, suffer with dryness so i'm on a quest for moisture if you guys have uh any recommendations as far as you know keeping my hair moisturized throughout the week let me know um i am uh, also a product junkie so i tend to use different products but i am really on the quest for a holy grail of products that i will use on a regular basis but I, I like being a product junkie. I like trying new things, so I'm still going to do that too. But, you know, it's always good to have your staple products that you use, your holy grails that you know you can go to, say, if you're, you're getting ready, you know, to uh, do your hair for a particular function or event. It's always good to know the products that you know will work for you every time. So I'm on that quest. And if you guys have, you know, any suggestions in regards to products, please let me know. But back to the wash and go. What I started out doing is, and what I always do with my hair, I typically start with a pre-poo. For my pre-poos, I use a conditioner. And my go-to is the Tresemme Naturals. Uh, if I can find it, or one one of the Tresemme conditioners is what I usually use um, for my pre-poo. For this particular uh, wash day, I use um, the Tresemme Naturals uh, Moisture Rich. That's what I used. So when I do my pre-poo, what I typically do is I section my hair into eight sections. Um, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. That's how I typically section my hair off. And uh, also um, I put it in twists. So I do that first and usually I spray it a little bit to kind of get it a bit uh, moist, a bit of moisture to it instead of just working on straight dry hair because you know how our hair is. And uh, then I'll apply the conditioner and then to each section and I twist it back up and I'll put on a plastic cap. After an hour or more, what I'll do is I'll rinse that out real good, and then I'll go on and shampoo my hair. I use different shampoos for this particular uh, wash day session. I use one of the Crema Nature shampoos. I kind of like those uh, shampoos. After the pre-poo and the shampoo, um, the product line that I used was... Um, Camille Rose. And I've been using Camille Rose for years. Uh, the Almond Jai Twist and Butter, that's one of my favorites. Uh, I think they have like a moisture milk, like a moisturizing milk. Uh, I've used that over the years. And I've also used the Curl Aid. And uh, I like all those products, right? Now, the particular line within Camille Rose that I had not used was the coconut water line. And, and I'm just telling you, the only reason why I hadn't used it is because of the word coconut. Because in the past, I've used coconut oil on my hair for like pre-pools and other things. And um, it didn't really agree with me. It didn't agree uh, with my scalp nor my hair. 
um, my scalp kind of felt a little irritated and my hair felt really um, rough, uh, kind of dried out. So, and that was, that's been years. So I, I've kind of steered away from the word coconut, right? But I, you know, I've been watching YouTube for years. I've seen a lot of people use this particular line, uh, the coconut water line from Camille Rose. And most of the people, you know, had good things to say about it. So um, I had ran across it. I don't know. It, it might have been on sale, but I said, I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it a try, even though it has the word coconut. So after I uh, did the pre-poo and I washed my hair, I used the penetrating hair treatment of the Camille Rose Coconut Water Line as my deep conditioner. And um, in the same eight sections, I applied it. I worked it in really well. I made sure I worked it in really, really well. And I twisted my hair back up and I put on a plastic cap. And I put on a plastic cap, I put on my silk scarf, and I put a cap on top of it. Um, I didn't really have a chance to sit under any heat. So if I know I'm not going to be able to sit, un sit under heat, that's kind of what I do. And um, when I first applied it, um, it was kind of thick. It is a thick, uh, deep conditioner. Let me show. Let's see if you guys can see that. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a thick consistency so I kind of felt it wasn't really penetrating but I knew you know once I put the plastic cap on as well as um, the scarf and cap that you know it'll probably penetrate and, and it did um I rinsed that out and my hair felt really good I was able to do before I rinsed it out I was able to do some additional detangling and I'm a finger detangler um as far as the detangling tools, I'm not really big on them. I have all of them probably, I'm almost sure, because I am a product junkie and um, a tool junkie as well. But um, my hair gets so tangled, it really curls up upon itself. Um, I just kind of steer away from the tools. I've tried them and I just haven't felt comfortable using them. And I just got to put it out there. I am tenderheaded. Um, my channel could have been called the tenderheaded natural. So I like to use my fingers and I, I use my fingers to uh, detangle and I've been doing that for years now. So I'm, I'm pretty good at uh, filling out the knots and uh, getting the tangles out. So uh, like I said, after I had the conditioner on for a while and it had soaked in to my strands, I was able to do um, some additional finger detangling before I rinsed it out. So after I rinsed it out, I put my hair back into eight sections again. And then I used the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. And um, it's kind of thick too. And, um, but I, I did like it. I did like it. So I worked this in really, really well. And uh, to each section, I smoothed it, I twisted, you know, my hair around, and I um, made sure that I tried to make sure it penetrated my strands as much as possible, just applying it. And, one, and for each section, I did that. I put the leave-in in, and then I added the Camille Rose Coconut Water Style Setter. I used that. And I did it the same way. Each section, I worked it in really good. Then I twisted up the sections. Now, something that I do, because as I mentioned earlier, I am low porosity. And um, what I tend to do before my final step of my styling, uh, like I said, I work in sections. So I put in the leave-in and on top of the leave-in, I put on the Camille Rose Coconut Water Style Setter. And I twisted my hair back up. So I had eight twists again. I, I put on a plastic cap and my scarf and I kind of let it marinate. Because with me being low porosity, sometimes products tend to sit on top of my hair and um, 
that's just a little extra step that I do to make sure the products do penetrate my strands. So I had that on maybe an hour uh, before I went into applying the gel for the wash and go. And this time uh, for my wash and go, the gel that I decided to use was the Extreme Wet Line with the blue cap. Um, that is the gel that I use this time. I, and I am uh, interested in using uh, more natural gels, but they have to be thick enough to, you know, handle my hair. Uh, I find that the lighter, slimier gels, um, they just don't give me the uh, definition and hold that I want. Although um, I've been using um, Wetline Extreme for a while because it does work well, but it does tend to give you, you know, that cast um, sometimes, that crunchy. And then with me being heavy handed, sometimes ramen noodle <laughs> looking hair, but uh, I know if I want a good wash and go, you know, with the definition and the whole, I know I can go to it, but I, I would like to try some more natural gels. So if you guys, again, if you have some suggestions for some more um, gels with more natural ingredients, please let me know. But yeah, uh, so those are the products that I use to achieve my wash and go. Actually, uh, this is like day four of my wash and go. Um, I haven't done a lot of stretching to it. Uh, you know how we are kind of not uh, out and about, you know, like we would typically be. So I didn't really have any place to go. So I didn't have a need um to, you know, stretch it or, you know, try to do anything fancy to it. I will try to stick in a photo from day one so you guys can see how I looked on day one. Oh, it was more shrunken up and it was, um, it had the cast on it more. I, th I think this might actually be day five, four or five. And, uh, as far as the Camille Rose products, I like them. And uh, like I said, my hair is feeling good now. And uh, although it did feel a little dry, I think it was probably the amount of gel that I was using um, that made it feel so dry. Because actually those um, two Camille Rose products, the uh, leave-in and also the style setter, I had used that maybe a week ago for a twist out and it was moisturized. So uh, for the folks that have done uh, reviews on those products and said they gave them uh, good moisture, it gave me good moisture and uh, good definition. I, I would agree with that. And this wash and go, kind of let you guys see the definition here. See, this is this is my definition. And like I said, this is day four or five. I can't remember. I can't remember, but it's day four or five. So you can see, you can see the definition here. So, so overall, I, I think I'm pleased. My hair, it feels good. I feel like it looks good. You know, I go out with my hair like this. Even if I want it to last a couple of more days, I think it would. If I want to stretch it and maybe do something else to it, I feel that I could. So overall, I think these products gave me uh, a pretty good wash and go. You guys, let me know what you think of these products, uh, the products that I mentioned today. I'm so excited, you know, about this channel and interacting with you guys and, um, learning from you and hopefully you can learn something from me with that see you next time thanks bye bye